kids? Captain Bummer here. You know, when I was a kid, I wanted pets. Lots and lots of pets. And I had lots of pets, just never more than one at a time. First there was Picasso, the dog. He bit some people and had to get put to sleep. The thing is, when a pet is put to sleep, it really means they are killed dead. Adults are trying to trick you kids by saying sleep instead of death. But Captain Bummer wasn't fooled. Instead, I was afraid to go to sleep. Next came a cat named Mistletoe. She loved to explore the great outdoors. But the great outdoors is full of animals that eat other animals. And so poor Mistletoe became dinner for some coyote. Then there was Goldie the goldfish. She seemed so hungry that I just put a little extra food in her water, but then she ate so much that she died. Another cat named Sam hit by a car. Coral the gerbil, some weird cancer. Add in the cat, anemia caused by feline leukemia. Daisy the dog, old age. Seymour the snake, Robert the rabbit. The former choked on the latter. Norma, Darla, Michael, Sally, and Monty, all gone. It turns out that pets, even healthy and safe ones, don't live nearly as long as people. And for the relatively short time they're alive, they are a lot of hard work. You have to stay home to take care of them every single day. You have to clean up their stinky poop and pee. You have to bathe and brush them that they hate so much they might scratch you and draw blood. And you have to pay lots of money to animal doctors to keep them free of worms, bugs, and viruses. If owning a pet is so gosh darn giggly wiggly hard and painful, then why do so many people keep doing it? It seems senseless. Well, it also turns out that one precious moment, laughing or playing or cuddling with a pet, can be worth tens or even hundreds of hard and painful things. That's just Bummer math. I mean, why put up with so many bummers if you don't get something in return? Right? And on that note, I'd like to introduce you to a new friend of mine. This is Cadet. Like those pets before her, Cadet died. But unlike those pets, Cadet came back to life. And in the few minutes she was dead, though, Cadet lost her ability to see and some of her ability to hear. But Cadet isn't senseless. She can still feel and taste and most importantly, smell. Smell is the number one sense for a dog, bigger than sight. So it's a happy thing that Cadet can smell just fine. Because Cadet is so special, she's going to help Captain Bummer fight Naivete. Okay, Cadet. Welcome to Team Bummer. There must be something I can say There must be something that'll make the pain go away Just tell me where it hurts And I will find the words Then I will say that I love you The 
precious moments that only two can share cannot be shattered like a dream you may ask yourself why I should care there must be something that is drifting through the air there must be something I can find there must be something that leaves your mind just open up your eyes and try to visualize what it means when I say I love you just open up your eyes and try to visualize what it means when I say I love you So you see kids, raising a pet is a super de duper idea. It's a super de duper way to learn about how hard and expensive it is to take care of another living being. It's a super de duper way to learn about illness, disease, and even handicaps. And it's a super de double duper way to learn about aging and dying. Well, that's all the time I have left for today. I have to go clean up the litter box, which is where cats go poop and pee. Interestingly, litter is also the name for cat babies. Are adults trying to tell you that babies are the same as poop and pee? That's a mystery, even to Captain Bummer. Now it's time for you and me to go. Chances are that one of us won't be sure that we'll be apart for good. Goodbyes, all forever. Goodbyes, all for good, 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 for good. goodbye. Can you make a sound like a dog? Dog. Yeah, can you can you bark like a dog? How does what does a dog sound like? Bark. Bark, yeah. How about um, a cat? How's meow. A... meow, that's good. That's a good meow. Can we try another dog sound again? Yeah. Bark. Bark. Is that a bark? Woof. Can you do one more cat sound for me? Meow. You have meow. Very good.